Uh, let's see here. This was one I already looked at. Yes. Uh, Ransack, of course. Italy. That's right. Italy has quakes, too. Ah, yes. Good old Mount Etna. I still have to drive by... I think it's Mount Etna. I still have to drive by Mount Etna in uh, ETS 2. I, uh, I I got the Vesuvius it, totally by accident. I it happened to be taking the load, I think, from Napoli. I think it was Napoli back to Rome. And I just, I guess I was on the road that goes past the Vesuvius because I wasn't even thinking about it. So I got that, uh, I got that part of the achievement done. Yes, Woodcutter's Hut destroyed. Yeah, thanks for that. It's funny though, um, because I went back, because I just, because I, I was so shocked, because I didn't really see anything that would look like a mountain or, or a volcano when I when I got it. So I said, well, let me let me uh, let me uh, do a flyby on the dev cam um, now, because um, do I want to rebuild? That was I don't think um, I don't think I wanted to rebuild that. So I did a flyby on the dev cam just to see if Vesuvius was really there or how much of Vesuvius they actually built on the map, which is pretty good. Cool. It looks pretty cool. Uh, and it looks like the way they have built, it looks like they have, there, there's a pathway or a roadway leading up the mountain. I said, well, wouldn't it be interesting if we could actually drive up that? And then I thought, wait a minute, I could just, I'm in dev cam mode. I can transport there. I could go to the top of the volcano and just drop my truck there. So I'm going, well, let me see what happens. So I did. <laughs> and <laughs> and I fell right through the scenery, but I, I didn't get any damage on the truck. It just like sort of hung there underneath the mountain in limbo, going like this. My truck was going back and forth, back and forth. And we, whenever it tilt forward, it would get up to about 3,000 miles per hour or kilometers per hour because I've got it on kilometers for ETS2. So I was going 3,000 kilometers an hour just sitting there under Mount Vesuvius, rocking back and forth. I said, well, that's pretty interesting, that is. And I am under attack from the Wolf's Castle, of course I am. But yeah, so I, I need to do that. I, I need to take a flyby of uh, Arizona uh, in ATS, because I'm curious to see if they put Meteor Crater in there or not, in the map or not. Um... Even though we can't get to it from the roadways, I'm just curious to see if they complete that part of the map that has Meteor Crater and if they put that in there. Because I, I do want to see that, how they rendered that if they did. Dev mode BJ, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's sort of what we're, I guess that's what we're waiting on now. The next world disaster, a nice big uh, volcanic eruption. Which uh, could very well be uh, Yellowstone National Park. Um, so this is just a pillage. Because there's been... Uh, if I remember reading right... And... Uh, there's, been, uh, there's been some activity underneath Yellowstone... Uh, and some of and some some of the sort of same activity that we saw prior to Mount St. Helens erupting in, erupting in 1980, um, some of the similar stuff. Yeah, did he? No, he. They didn't finish that one off. That one stood. All right, so good. We defended it against that pillage. But I, because I, I didn't think about it, because when I did the, the vacation video um, out by um, the Grand Canyon for ATS, I didn't think it, about it at the time, but I should have gone into dev mode just to fly over the Grand Canyon. So the next time I take a, uh, I take a haul to Grand Canyon Village, I'm going to have to do that, just to see how much of the Grand Canyon they build out there. Um so that's just uh, that's just ale that he nabbed from there. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, and Bordonius, which is in Don Mariano. So I'm curious to see what this one is. Or like Volcano Labre. Yeah, the Labre Tarpeets. Yes. Right. Well, I think if there's going to be a world disaster, I think it's going to be a volcanic eruption because that's where. Uh, 
If there's a big enough one, that's that's what's going to um, just the ash in the atmosphere is going to uh, do a number on our climate. Now, if it's a super volcano like um, like the one that's sitting under Yellowstone, that that's pretty much game over for, for the United States of America. There, if that thing goes, uh, we're pretty much all toast over here. Um, above it's just a normal volcano any anything like a vesuvius or um uh was it krakatoa because little krakatoa little I and mean, we gotta watch out for little krakatoa that one that one's uh been pretty active of late too um the last couple of decades if i remember right uh, that one we did defend against too all right um yeah, any one of those could uh, do a number on our climate, and that's uh, that's not going to be good. Uh, hey, I have some things to take care of. I will see you later. All right, thanks, Mrs. E.B. Thanks for swinging by. It was good to finally see you back in stream again. Megan, uh, Megan stays, Mama. <laughs> oh, yes, Megan stays, Mama 1. That's right, Hog Mama. Yeah, Mrs. E.B. is Mama 2. Megan is, yeah, Megan will always be Mama 1 there. All right, so good. That's the wolf attacking us. Wolf attacks us. Let me write that down here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, at this point, I might actually end up attacking that treasure castle before we're done here. All marked, yes, because I don't want to delete everything like I did uh, a few weeks ago. All right, let's see. We'll just stick with the wolf attacks for right now, right? All right, so let's see. Let's see Gray Fuzz attacking the wolf here. See what Gray Fuzz does here. Is we haven't uh, we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen anything from Gray Fuzz in a while. So let's take out Gray. F ah, yes, the big bad wall castle here. I'm going to speed things up here too, just to save some time. Now we did see um, Panic Z Home, Homie, aka Homie. Uh, we did see Homie um, hit this castle. I think um, a couple weeks ago. And do it all in one shot, which is uh, which is the incredible thing. So I'm gonna have to. This is probably the formation I'm gonna want to use against the Wolf's Castle. Let's say Don Mariano, because it's not a full wall castle like this. But um, if I use this formation, we I should be able to take it out. Um, yeah, yeah, Gray Fuzz for the win here this week. For um, I'm assuming he takes it out in one shot here. Yep. Yeah, he's in. Yep. So this is this is what I'm gonna want to use. So I'm gonna make note of this: 180 archers, 200 pikemen, 120 catapults. Let me see something here: 80 or 180, 200, and 120. So a parish army can do it. Um. One eighty, so I would need to double the number of catapults we have here. How many pikemen? Let me see here. Two hundred pikemen. Okay. All right. So uh, where are we going to be at with two hundred pikemen here? Oh yeah, it's really going to drain our gold. All right, so we're going to have to wait on that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Probably uh, till later this week. I want to knock. I want to knock both these wolf castles out as soon as possible. But um, yeah, the gold is drained, and I don't have enough troops I can send to really make a difference. Both in Lapu Lapu and uh, Don Mariano. I just sucked our gold out with the pikemen there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's get on with. Um, so yes, Gray Fuzz. We'll we'll give Gray Fuzz the battle report of the week this week. Uh, we got Mrs. E B here. I think. Uh, oh no, this is Mr. E B San Jose. Mrs. E B and Dougie Doug. So we got Mr. E B and Mrs. E B attacking the wolf. So let's take a look at uh, Mr. E B.
Hitting oh, this is this is is this one? No, this is uh, similar similar to the one in La Pulupu, but now this is the the ballista wolf here with those ballistas down in the corner here. Um, pikeman and catapults to Don Mariano. I need those in Don Mariano. Wapulapu, um, I'd have to take a look. Catapult, you know what? We need catapults in Don, uh, in Lapulapu too. Because after, after the last Wolf's Castle a couple weeks ago, uh, that, that wiped out all our catapults. Pretty much all our catapults in there. I need, uh, I need 60 in Don Mariano. And we need a whole bunch in Lapulapu. I would I would say almost we probably need almost a hundred in the poo the poo. All right, good. So that was uh, Mr. E B attacking the wolf. He did um, right, attacker wins, right? Yes. So Mr. E B attacking the wolf. Let's uh, see for a minute here. Oh, no, oh, really? Oh, oh, that's right. I. Uh, all right, never mind then. Uh, we actually have more in La Poo La Poo than I thought. I must, I must have, I must have thrown, I must have bought some over the last couple of weeks. I didn't remember. Set me. Uh, okay. All uh, right. Yeah. That'll, that'll probably be easier to do just to send in Discord here because the Wolflers and Bandit Camps are just eating through the troops right now. Yeah, so I will uh, I will probably do that uh, at some point this weekend. Nothing nothing vital, but uh, all right. All right, Mr. EB, let's check out Mrs. EB attacking the wolf here. <gasps> it's the water wolf. Mrs. EB didn't watch our videos on the water wolf on how to take this out in one shot. She's doing she's doing the panic z home uh, method of uh, of catapult surrounds here. Homie's method. Which is pretty effective in uh, destroying all the, uh, all the, uh, let's bring that up. All the structures to be certain. As the walls come tumbling down. Oh, I was about to say, come on now. It's taking an awful long time to get destroyed here. So, yep, just a barracks. One last lonely tower here. I remember, I got to get my car. Oh, no, you know what? I meant to check to see when I do. I thought I needed to get my car inspected this month, but it may not be until May, which helps because I don't. I would have to do it on a Monday, and uh, I don't want to lose stream time on Mondays here. Yep, so, yep. Pretty much <laughs> everything's destroyed, though. So let's see, Mrs. E. B. Finish this off. Presume. Oh, whoop! Wrong one. Wrong one. We want to look at that one. Thank you. Look, you know, oil pots are all back again. I hate when that happens. And bada bing, bada boom, she gets it on the second try. So nice, uh, Mrs. E. B. There. Okay. Get rid of that. Um, oh, that's us attacking the treasure castle. Oops. So we will take a look at that too. Us uh, on treasure. Us on treasure. And here I'm thinking never enough. I never have enough time to see that. But let's go ahead and. Um, oh, yes. This is us attacking the wolf. Yes, that's right. Nine days ago. So this is us attacking the wolf here. Uh, I believe the Brie had attacked this thing first. So uh, the, the the Brie uh, or Bry, Brie or Bry, the Bry, I'll just say the Bry in La Poo. So he he helped oh, he helped um, minimize some of the defenses here, so I could get this in on one shot here. Yeah, this is the Wolf's Castle from last week that we were going to show on last week's stream, but again, 
You know, the storm. Oh, so close and still defeat. Yeah, I know. I know. But, uh, yeah, Mrs. E.B. got in on the second shot here. So, yeah, I had uh, those guys aiming at the... A uh, couple of them aiming at the... Um, ballistas is what I want to say. Yeah, see, that, that was a problem. Most of the ones I had aiming at the keep got destroyed. Which is why it's taking my guys so long to get in here. Yep, we got in there. But yeah, so yeah, you can see eight through the catapults. Lost all our archers and the great majority of our pikemen. So that was actually a pretty close call there. That was a pretty close call, but we uh, we got rid of him. All right, let's... Um, oh, we defended. All right, nice. Another pillage? Okay. So let me go in here real quick and repair so I don't forget to do that before I end today. So I do have to make dinner. I got to get on dinner here so we don't eat too late. So I think I will save... Um, Save Taz's treasure castles for next week. We'll just take a look at mine so I can get that out of the way here. Oh, you know what? I do want to see this too. Let's all right. Let's take a look at Doug attacking Pedro's uh, parish here. Probably just a quick gold raid, I would assume. Oh, yeah, and he's got a lot of gold there. Kanalapalalamanon. Where is this? Um, oh, that's, that's far. I was about to say I could do a gold raid on that, but it's a little bit further out. I don't want the parish arm. Well, you know what? Let me see something here. There, okay. See, I zoom too far out and I lose it. So it's over here somewhere. The bugs are back. Um, I think maybe I should. This wolf you did last week ain't that easy. It's a fine line between a good setup and a bad setup. Yeah. Yeah. Which is sort of, sort of what we've got with this guy here, too. Not quite identical, but pretty close to the way he is, so. Um, hmm. I may want a gold raid. I'll have to wait. I'll, I'll, I'll have to do that off stream. I don't have a lot of time now. So, um, yeah, let me take a look at... Uh, let's take a look. I don't need you anymore. Let's take a look at uh, my treasure castle attack. And then we'll uh, save Taz's attacks here. Let's... Uh, so, congratulations, Grey Fuzz, for Battle Report of the Week, by the way. Let's take a look at Grey Fuzz. Uh, let's do that real quick. Um, ah! <laughs> here we go. Uh, he's not in mine. Where is he? He's 17. Yeah, here he is. So there's Grefa. So congratulations on that nice, sweet attack on uh, the wolf's castle there. The big old bad wall wolf. Right, let's see. Uh, let's see if we mentioned. Oh, oh well, we did because I clicked that by accident. So we got a tier two out of this. Um, huh. It's not too shabby actually. He only lost one pikeman and 15 archers. Uh, I, I I thought all my archers would get killed. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this guy. So I'm assuming this one right here. Yep, we got So did we... Yeah, we ended... Yeah, see, the archers ended up being useless because uh, we got to the chest before any one of their archers went down. But we got it. Nice. All right, good. So we got ourselves a uh, tier two wheel spin. And we will save the rest of this. Uh, Tula Morale. Oh, Wahoo. Where is this? Uh, I think this. Is this one of our inactives? 
right now. We have no idea who this is. Huh. I wonder if these... Are these guys rogues, perhaps? Because these guys have no villages left, so it looks like they got raised. Hmm. Yeah, speaking of which, I'm going to have to uh, kind of keep an eye on this guy here, too. Uh, where am I at? Let's get back to way over here, Mako. The rat's attacking him. Doesn't look like he's built his village up any. I haven't scouted him, so I don't know what his castle looks like. But uh, I did notice that um, uh, Steggy here is down to uh, one vote. Um, which normally, um, would only happen if that was the only vote he gave himself when he got to the parish, he voted himself in with one monk, um, or this guy here, um, subtracted votes from him. Normally, if you're a steward and you vote, uh, once you vote for yourself, um, above six votes um you will even if you never vote again um your total number of votes won't drop below six so if it's below six it's either somebody took away votes from you or you only voted yourself one vote um siege camp is hitting us in uh poo here so I'm th I'm thinking the House 17 guy only gave himself one vote because I never checked beforehand, so I don't really know how many votes he had. But so far the rogue hasn't done anything, so we're going to uh, we're going to just uh, play it by ear. I think at some point uh, I'm going to want to I'm I'm just going to raise him out just to do it. But uh, we'll see. All right, so this is the initial attack here. So we got a whole week's worth of siege camps to worry about here too. So I'm definitely going to want to uh, get rid of that wolf's castle. All right. So I'm I'm thinking maybe doing a maybe a gold raid too might help. All right. Well, that's it for us. It's time to go. It is uh, definitely getting late here. Uh, it is dinner time. I am hungry. Oh yeah, the abs needs to be changed. She's been sitting there for an hour and a half in a stinky diaper. See, that's I originally I meant to take a, 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 another commercial break before Battle Report of the Week and change her then. But uh, yeah, we can see how well that happened. All right, so uh, I'm going to bid everyone adieu. Thank you for swinging by, Taz, and Kat as well. I don't know if Kat's still out there, but thanks to the both of you guys and gals. Well, guy and gal, I guess I should say. And, of course, Mrs. E.B. for swinging by as well. Just Yeah, I know, just after midnight. It is late for you as well. But thanks for sticking around with us this week. Oh, there was Kat. One eye closed, yeah. <laughs> have, a good, uh, have a good night, you two. And uh, I guess I'll see everybody... Uh, well, maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for some Planet Coaster. See if I can get Planet Coaster going uh, when I get home from work. Uh, see how well that stream goes on the other computer. And then uh, Monday, I got to figure out what I'm going to be doing Monday. Um, so I still got some installing and some uh, settings to go through. So we'll see. Yes, I got to remember to send you Discord. Um, I'll try to do that. I probably won't do it tonight because I'm just going to be too busy. Uh, but I'll try to, if, if I don't send it to you uh, by the time I stream tomorrow um, and, and you're around, uh, just remind me in stream and then I'll send it then. Um, but in the meantime, thanks everybody. Uh, I have got to go. Dinner time. So, uh, it's BJ Wallace saying, until next time, I will see everybody in game. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thanks again. Uh, oh yes, I got to move my mouse over here. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. TTFN. <laughs>